everyone. Welcome to The High Show. This is your host, Steve of Unite. Hi, and I am Shannon. I usually host the Hide and Seek with Pokemon show on Mondays at 2 p.m., but I'm really excited to be given the opportunity to host today's show. So, hi. <laughs> so, nice to see you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the Hike Show. Hike stands for How Are You in Korea? We talk about the daily lives of Kosas K influencers and discuss the current events in Korea every Thursday at 2 p.m. So stay tuned as we will be streaming with new K influencers every week. It's very nice meeting you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about Monday's program, Hide and Seek with Kok Nuni? Yeah, Kok Nuni. Kok Nuni, <laughs> all right. So basically, the Hide and Seek with Kok Nuni like, series is sort of like a travel piece that the Korea Net program offers. So it's a live show on Mondays. And essentially, they drop me off somewhere random in Korea. The location is anywhere from within Seoul, like in Sedong, to as far as like Yosu, so way outside of Seoul. Not by um, yourself, right? No, no, no. With, with, other, with staffs? Yeah, yeah. Nothing. All right. <laughs> not alone. It's All right. not like GoPro All right. episode. That's good. That's um, good. Yeah, so I am with like a team, but they take me to an interesting location, whether it's interesting because of a certain food that they have or mm -hmm. if there's like an art exhibit or something. It really varies. Like every episode is completely different, which I love. Um, but again, it's sort of like a travel idea, but the whole idea of the show is called Hide and Seek with Kok Nini. Um, the staff or the team goes ahead of me and they hide a bunch of clues in whatever location it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then my job is to find the clues and the clues lead to a stuffed animal named Koknini. And yeah, so I basically just have to find him by the end of each episode. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple times when I've almost not made it like within uh -huh. the time frame because I actually don't look at the clues beforehand. Like it mm -hmm. is very real. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so sometimes it's difficult, but uh, luckily there is a live chat. So... The chat sometimes helps me out if there's something that I am missing. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, it's really fun. It's really interactive. And I'm very thankful for that particular show because it is very fun. And it allows me to travel all throughout Korea and also get to help other people all throughout the world experience the same thing. Oh, yeah. That's, that's so nice. I love it a lot. Make sure you guys uh, check out the Hide and Seek with Kokunini Monday at 2 p.m. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Um, is there, what's the, where's the most interesting place you've went to? Oh, okay. Or like um, weirdest, I get. Guess. Weirdest? Yeah. Okay, right. they're two different. <laughs> so I think the most interesting place that I went, it mm -hmm. was actually a couple episodes ago. It was pre-recorded because of the Tuso holiday. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, it was this location that was... I'm not going to give too much away because I want you guys to go watch the episode. Uh -huh. um, but basically, it was this compound and it was three different museums mm -hmm. and i had to go through all three museums to try to find this bird <laughs> it was a lot but it was a children's museum a, a historical museum and then there was like an actual art mm -hmm. exhibition center mm -hmm. and it was just so it was so interesting to see so much in one episode um so i think that was the most fascinating for me i'm also like an artist so for artist. me yeah so for me getting to like walk around the museums and stuff was it just offered a lot it was made me really happy oh, wow. um and then i think one of the weirder ones i don't know i don't it wasn't weird in a bad way but mm -hmm. it was like when i went to the cave oh the ca <laughs> yeah cave. so we went to guangyong cave guangyong i don't know guangyong. Sure. guangyong cave i'm mm -hmm. not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly but um it was really fascinating because i'm from north carolina north carolina yeah so on the east coast there's a lot of caves i'm not sure about la but in the mountain range of like the Appalachian mountain range, there's a mm. lot of caves and I've been to them before, but this was entirely different because as soon as you walk in, there's this like light art exhibition. It feels like you're in uh. Pandora from Avatar. In the cave? Yeah. Oh, really? That's exactly what it wow. looks like too. Like there's like the giant things hanging down and butterflies everywhere. It was really unique. And then when you walk past that, the whole thing turns gold. Like the walls are gold, the floor is gold, like everything becomes gold. And then there's this like uh, visual arts section, and then there's an aquarium, and then there's a what? yeah, and then there's a winery in the bottom. That's yeah, amazing. so super diverse location. It was really really cool. All inside of a cave. Yeah, it's all inside the same cave. And oh, there was wow. also something really cool. If you guys are fans of Lord of the Rings. There, it was actually filmed there, partially. Oh, really? And so there, there's this giant dragon statue in the bottom. It sounds like I'm making this up, but I promise I'm not. This is a real location, like, just outside of Korea, like, 45 minutes outside of Seoul. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So, really, really cool. Where is it again? 
Um, check out the episode. Okay. Check out the episode. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for sharing, Shannon. Yeah. Uh, and you just said you're from North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I'm from LA. It's very nice to meet someone from the yeah, USA. Yeah, from the states. Uh, have you been to LA before? I've never been to LA, but I've heard a lot about it. You've heard a lot about it. Yeah. I've never been to North Carolina before. All right, we can swap stories. Yeah. I, guess. I mean, I I've never heard about North Carolina, but mm. how is North Carolina like? Um, it's I like it a lot. You like it a lot. Yeah, it's it's a lot more rural than I imagine California oh. is. I feel like California is very like, well, I guess it's diverse environmentally, though, right? Like there's right, of course, yes. Northern and southern parts yes, are yes, really yes. different. Um, North Carolina is like. There's mountains, there's like cities, and then there's also beaches. Mm. But I think overall the vibe is very chill. Like chill. it's just really calm. Like it's there's yeah. not a whole lot going on, but yeah. It's I really mean, LA is like known to like be like flashy, like yeah. party, like stuff. Yeah, I have a friend that lives in um, uh, San like up near San Francisco, like a little mm-hmm. further north. She said the vibe is really different there versus like Southern California, like LA. Oh, mm-hmm. have you visited other parts of California? San Francisco, mm-hmm. San Francisco. Mm. That's about it, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I haven't been. Is there I don't travel that much. Oh. Is there anything you miss about LA or California in particular? I mean, family, family, mm, of course, sure. and the food over there, and just like friends. Oh, yeah, that's hard. That right. is the hardest part yeah. when you leave. Mm. So should we introduce our guest now? I, I guess. Oh, so. like, she's been sitting she's there. She's kind of like sitting there. <laughs> Okay, hi, uh, I'm, I'm Prasmita from Indonesia, and then I'm study in Sung Myung Women's University right now, mm-hmm. and then it's been three years in Korea. Wow, yeah. <laughs> very cool. So what are you studying? Uh, like English. English? English? Yeah. Okay. English. Uh, is there any particular reason you chose English? Um, it was just because uh, not really all of Indonesian can study English, so ah. I was decide like to take this course. Mm. Yeah. So you're studying English and Korean at the same time? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's very... That's not easy. <laughs> That's not easy. But yeah. yeah. So I don't... I actually don't know too much about Indonesia. Mm-hmm. Is there something that you would want people to know from like an outsider perspective? Because I don't, I don't really know much about it. So I don't oh, know. but I think like most people like nowadays like know Indonesia because like, you know, Bali. Yeah. Have you been Bali? Oh, yeah. Bali, Bali is Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Korean, I guess, like go travel to Bali mm-hmm. or like do business in Jakarta. Jakarta also Indonesia. Jakarta. I've only heard about Bali in like movies like. Uh, I only they, know you never Jakarta because the filter on Instagram yeah. is named Jakarta. Oh, you know what right. I'm talking about? <laughs> so I, yeah. And this is your second time on Hike Show? Yeah. How have you been? Good. <laughs> Wait, was I, I wasn't here that time, right? Uh, yeah, it was with, um, I forgot their name. Anyway, uh huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Is car. there is I know you when we were talking a little bit before the show you said that you missed like Indonesian food and stuff, for example. Oh uh, yeah. Is there like is there like a staple dish that like I should try if I ever visit? Uh maybe like rendang or nasi goreng. Na- oh nasi goreng. Yeah. I've heard of this one. Yeah. Yeah. What it, what is it exactly? It's like mm, Pokumbap, like fried rice, something. Fried rice. Yeah, fried rice. I feel like <laughs> Suddenly, I don't know has any ways. <laughs> like rice and chicken. <laughs> you know of what I mean? Yeah. Mm, very cool. You can try it. Like because, like in Korea, uh, do you know Mangwon? Yeah. Yeah, in Mangwon we have a uh, Bali in Mangwon, like Indonesian <gasps> oh, food. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <could I? laughs> I'm actually going Mangwon Saturday. Oh. So maybe I'll try that for dinner. Okay. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Mm. Is there anything that's like been really difficult to adjust to, like living in Korea as an Indonesian? I think language is really hard. Language, mm. yeah. right. I mean, Korea is really hard. <laughs> Korean. Yeah, because like if you just know English and when you come in Korea, it's really hard to. What's that? First year I come in Korea, I don't I don't know how to speak Korea at all. Yeah, and good. then I get lost in subway one mm. time, and then I tried to ask like Korean people, like, "Oh, mm. do you know how to go here?" Like everyone, like, "Oh, you go hotel, you go hotel," and try oh. to avoid me. So I was like, yeah. "Oh, what, what?" <laughs> like that. So I think after that, I tried to is that study Korea hard. Yeah. At least I have to speak the basic one. Mm. Wow, I can't. I'm trying to imagine from your perspective because I'm a native English speaker, right? So. Mm. I think most things in Korea, if it's not in Korean, it's probably in English. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. but 
if you're not super super fluent in English mm -hmm. either, I can imagine it's extremely difficult, like yeah. having to acquire two other languages at the same time. Yeah, it is. yeah. Right. So wow, mad props to you, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to do with your English degree? Um, for now, I don't know yet, but maybe yeah, we, I can teach English or mm -hmm. something. But yeah, I still don't know. A teacher, still in, figure out. Teacher in Korea, um, English teacher. Yeah, maybe, but maybe. I still don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All right, then what are your plans in Korea from now on? Like from now on, yeah, try to prepare my graduation. I guess. Right. Oh. I have mm -hmm. one semester left prepare graduation only one left yeah that's so exciting <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> because like you know like in, in college like first year mm -hmm. you get excited oh I like university life but in the like last moment last semester like oh my god what i'm doing here so after after the after this like uh -huh. what i'm gonna do kind of like. it's nerve-wracking but it's also like you can look at it as exciting in a different way right. you know yeah. what i mean because you're very comfortable in university yeah. and i'm sure you're doing fantastic but you. now you have the option to choose whatever you want mm -hmm. you can a new chapter in life yeah new chapter in life mm. Mm. you got it so um <laughs> Before we continue, guys, I wanted to talk about the Asian Games. Oh, Ooh, Asian Games. Right. Yeah. Have you guys watched any of it since it's been on? Have you watched it? No. You watched it <laughs> I just heard about it. Yeah. I watched uh, soccer. I only watched soccer, but I've heard about like baseball and like table tennis. Mm -hmm. uh. Korea won gold medal with table tennis, mm -hmm. soccer, and baseball. Wow. So. Soccer was like crazy because like all my members were watching it. Yeah. Mm. And everyone was talking about it. So, I, yeah. yeah, I think coming from the States, I like was never really into soccer oh. that much because mm. like our national team is not great. But <laughs> in Korea, <laughs> it's like I started getting really into soccer last year during last like, year. the World Cup. Yeah, oh, really? because there was that just collective excitement right. about mm. Korea making it so far. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I think I've been paying a lot more attention and I actually watched the Korea versus Japan yeah, this um, uh, yeah, in the Asian Games. But is there any other like events or something that you guys are super into as far as like Olympic Games or Asian Games? Maybe like soccer. Like yeah, since I live in Korea, people like I don't know in Korea when there's soccer, people like really watching together the, yeah. in the bar yeah, or restaurant, like do it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really fun. It's like wow, Korea is amazing. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Yeah, it was it's very interesting like how they do it in Korea because mm -hmm. in America I never did that with my friends. But Not with soccer, like yeah. maybe with like American football. American football, or basketball, right? Basketball, yeah, yeah, but soccer, yeah. Soccer is very huge in Korea. Yeah. So Yeah. Uh, something else that I was really like surprised about, I was kind of talking to the team before, just because I don't know as, as much about like the history of the Asian games, for example. But this year was the nineteenth one ever, so it's relatively mm -hmm. new, like in the grand scheme of everything mm -hmm. um but they also have esports esports so, right yeah. right that's super cool like it's just i don't know i i don't know too much about it as far as like statistics or anything like that mm -hmm. but i know like the major games that are played um there's like like world of warcraft league of legends league of legends yeah stuff like that and so i'm not sure where they place but i'd be interested to know yeah they uh esports was a part of the asian olympics this mm -hmm. this year and they won gold medal they won yeah wait won. that's awesome that's Go Korea. <laughs> yeah. How about how about Indonesia? Is there like a famous like sport in Indonesia? Uh, maybe like football. Football? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. football is really famous in my country. Football? Yeah. But nowadays like I didn't watch it because I live in Korea. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. when I was like maybe my age, like when I eighteen, yeah, there is like I I watch like football a lot with my dad. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Is there any sports that you guys played? Uh basketball. Basketball. You played oh, basketball? Yeah. That's really? sick. I play basketball too. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. How, how about you? Uh, I played baseball, volleyball. Baseball? Yeah, oh. I ran track. I did kind of a lot in high school. Um, and then college, I was a dancer. Dancer? So I, ca I count dancing as a sport, but not everybody does. I mean, dancing is, you're moving around it's a lot. Athletic, yeah, right? yeah, it requires It requires a lot of like coordination. Muscle, yeah, coordination. Sometimes teamwork, depending teamwork, on the style. Teamwork, yeah, right. Team chemistry. Yeah. Is, but I played baseball too. What baseball. was your position? I played baseball too. I was a pitcher and everything except for the catcher. Ah, oh. okay. We're reversed then because I was catcher. I can't. You're, oh, you're a catcher. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were all like the 
helmet and like oh no i wasn't an umpire i was just outfielder and then like a uh, shortstop oh mm-hmm. not the not the catcher like no, behind no, the no, plate yeah. oh yeah i played that, that i played that position too <laughs> i like my teeth I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> All right. But what about in basketball? What would was, was that high school for you? Oh yeah, it was in high school. What was your position? Uh it's like center, the center one. Center? Yeah. You're the tallest one? Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't know. Like my teacher just put me there, so I was like, okay, yeah. That's oh, really wow. cool though. Yeah, that was fun. Do you think if you were in the Asian games, like what would you play? Like what would be your thing? If you can't say ba- baseball or basketball, like what would you want to do? I'll say table tennis. That would be your choice. Yeah, because table tennis is pretty fun. But I don't know if I can win the gold medal if I <laughs> w- was. You can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What would you maybe like, like because I just only know how to do basketball, so maybe I do basketball, I guess. You just complete. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing I can do. <laughs> how about you? No baseball. Yeah, I track. can't do baseball, track. I can't do American football either, right? Uh-huh. Um, what about archery? Archery, that? oh, yeah, archery. That. Have you tried it before? Yes, I've tried really? it before. Are you good I actually at it? did it on one of the Coke Mini episodes. Oh, <laughs> oh. Really? Yeah. I'll it watch like, it. Because sometimes he'll give me random missions. He'll mm-hmm. be like, you need to make pottery or you need to do... That's not a joke. Like, I had to do that one time. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, or he'll be like, you have to make gochujang. I had to do that one time. Mm. It was really interesting. Gochujang. Yeah, but um, yeah, he had me shoot archery randomly one time. Oh, you did a lot of stuff in Kung Nini. Yeah, seriously. It's, it's been the best, like, opportunity. I'm very thankful for that. So um, having fun. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably try to handle my inner catness and do archery. <laughs> All right, archery. Mm-hmm. Can you introduce any famous sports stars from your home country? Uh... Yeah, football <laughs> stars. Uh, right. Maybe I just know in my age, like Bambang Pamungkas. Bambang Pamungkas. Bambang Pamungkas. Pamungkas. Yeah. Pamungkas. <laughs> Pamungkas. Yeah. yeah, he's like really good player in the football. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to check him out. <laughs> yeah. How about, how about you? Well, from my state, you probably know Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, yes. Yeah. Oh. And um, Jordan. also... Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph I'm trying Curry. to throw the basketball references because you're basketball, like basketball players. Magic Johnson. Mm-hmm. But they, uh, Steph Curry went to Davidson and uh, Michael Jordan went to UNC. Yeah, Michael Jordan, yeah. UNC. Yeah, so uh, those are probably the most notable like basketball players. Mm-hmm. But we also have like NFL in my state as NFL. well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with American football. Mm, that's okay. Yeah. I won't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> What about you from California? California, we have LeBron, LeBron yeah, James. Yeah, y'all got the Lakers. That's not LeBron even LeBron James, <laughs> Anthony Davis. I mean, they just won. I think they just won the preseason game today. I, I watched it while really? I was coming here. Ooh. But we lost. Uh, we got eliminated from the World Series for baseball Dang. today. We got Oof. swept. That's rough. Yeah. You can't have both those. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot, but mm-hmm. those are a few. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I feel like who are the most like notable ones in Korea? Because I only recently started paying attention to like sports in general, like uh-huh. uh, baseball and soccer mostly. Uh huh. Yeah. So for fo- for football, there's you know Son Heung-min, right? Yeah, of course. He's very very famous in Korea. Mm-hmm. Also for esports, there's Faker. Oh. Faker, have you heard of him before? No, but that's a cool name. <laughs> Faker, yeah, he's the number one like esports. Like player person in the in the world, yeah. When it comes to esports, is it like they have to focus on one particular game, or do they have to be good at like all kinds of games? I'm not exactly sure how the ranking works. Well, I'm pretty sure. Me either. As long as you're good at one game, you have to be like proficient. Yeah, in right. Ah. But I'm not too sure either. Ah, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. My one of my best friends from home. She we met in college, but she's from Japan originally. Mm-hmm. She is a streamer, and she is really really good at League. League. So I'm, I bet she, I, she honestly probably knows more about it than I do. But uh-huh. yeah, I've never done too much with gaming. Just like Call of Duty Zombies at like two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. Maybe for your next like Kognini episode. That's what I was thinking. PC Bang, like because, PC Bang. Yeah, I've never been to any of like the PC Bang before. Oh, really? So I think it would be cool if Koreanet, if you're watching this. <laughs> 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 but um, I was thinking it'd be cool if we did like like a like a Bang travel. So like Nore Bang, PC Bang. PC Bang. Yeah, like the comic book uh-huh. Bang. I don't uh, know. Check, <laughs> check Bang is it check called? Bang. Check Bang. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that would be kind of cool, right? Yeah. And that's something that's really cool about like Korea that mm-hmm. we don't have, at least in North Carolina. Right. I don't know yeah. If they know that in LA. Yeah. But yeah, that kind of like room culture, just like yeah. for different things. And I have this like fantasy where I go to a PC bong with all my friends and we just like play for hours. But I've never been, so it'd be really interesting for sure. Yeah. I'll watch that episode if that ever comes out. <laughs> okay. Are it. you guys good at gaming? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was a little like I I went to like I usually go to PC bong, but I do like play Battleground. Do you know Battleground? Battleground. Yeah. Oh my PUBG, god. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that. It's one. like a gun game, but yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I play I play that a lot. <laughs> I can't. I can't play those like high FPS games because I get dizzy. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Why? Uh, so I can't. Uh, so the VR is not for you then. <laughs> VR, yeah. I get dizzy. I get really dizzy. Mm. Do they have the VR in in PC one? No. Or is it just? It's no, just, just no, like computers. Just computers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I mean PC. But I, I don't know. <laughs> it's your room. <laughs> is there a game that you prefer? I play League of Legends. Oh, okay. And that's about it because that's the only game I. That doesn't make me dizzy. Mm, uh, that makes sense. So yeah. Yeah. Very cool. How about should we move on to the main topic? Yeah, let's go uh, for yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, basically, the theme of the Hayek show today is Hangul Day or Korean Alphabet Day. For those of you that don't know what Hangul is, um, which is a national holiday that was actually this past Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, so. It seems like there was there are so many holidays in October of 20, 2023. Mm-hmm. I bet many company employees in Korea are very happy this month. Yeah, the weather has also like in the same time that there's been holidays, the yeah. weather's also gotten a lot colder. Right. Like very quickly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hence, like the long sleeves and the sweater yes. and the jacket today. Um, but I strongly recommend if you guys come here to you know stay warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure that you're not getting too cold. Yeah. yeah. How'd you guys spend ho- Hunger Day? Hunger Day. I was like having fun too. What's that? Kwang Oh, Kwang Yeah, try to wearing hanbok. Hanbok. Yeah, oh, really? That's so cool. I mean, like even I been like three years in Korea, but mm. I still love like what's that? Doing hanbok because I have like exchange friends. They oh let's let's do this and like okay let's do that and then we do hanbok and walk to get like walk to Kwang mm. And mm. I just realized that we can go enter to Kwang for free if we if we wearing what's that? Yeah. Hanbok. Hanbok. Yeah, I didn't know that. It was like. Ah, this is cool. Yeah, that was one of the things when my mom came to visit that she wanted to do the most was wear a uh, book. So I took it to the palace. But oh, yeah. yeah, but don't go on Tuesday, guys, because the palace is closed on Tuesdays. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't yeah. know. But she looked awfully cute, and we still got to wear it. So mm. uh, get, what a wonderful way to spend like a Korean holiday. Did you guys take a lot of pictures? Me and my mom. Both of yeah. you guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you worn a hanbok before? Yeah. Uh, me. Both of you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can go first. Oh, what what is your question? Have you worn it before, or is this your first time? Uh, um, yeah, I wear it before, before, but I just only like take a picture in outside, not really go to as that Kwang Ah, uh, yeah. I've worn hanbok a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot for like special like fan meetings, also like uh, special oh, episodes. I guess that's true. And yeah. also, I get when I was a baby, I think I was like a tordanchi. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that is? Yeah, like yeah. you pick like an object. I guess I <laughs> was wearing like a, a ceremony, humble. right? Yeah. Yeah. When you turn one, I guess you like pick an item mm-hmm. out, and that like represents your future. Um, like what, what, what you you'll be. I forgot. I'll yeah, ask yeah, today. You were I'll, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll ask my parents today. <laughs> but yeah. So when I was a baby, I wore humble. Aww. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Cute. I've worn it a couple times, but. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the experience each time. I feel like a princess. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's really fun. What did you do on, on Hunger, Hunger Day? I was working. You were working? <laughs> working. Oh uh, yeah, I was filming a commercial, and then after that, I just went home and did like a little Harry Potter marathon mm. in my room. <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty chill. Pretty good day. Can't mm-hmm. complain. Yeah. Wait, what did I do on Hunger Day? I forgot. It was Monday. It was like a Monday. Stay, stay home. <laughs> I forgot what I did on. I'm so sorry. I, for, I keep it. The days are yeah. blending together for you. Yeah. But it kind of felt like a lot for me because like I'm not used to having time off really. Like I'm uh-huh. working almost every day. Mm-hmm. And so from Chuseok, like right after was Hangul Day. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of places that were like closed and stuff. And like yeah. I just didn't, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> but no, it was really fun. For the past few days, like I haven't been in like, I can't remember stuff. Mm. Has it been like out of outside of your normal routine? Yeah, these days I've been really really busy because mm. we're coming back soon. 
So yeah. Ooh, check it out, guys. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, so how confident, I, I have to ask, are you with your Korean? Um, maybe like right from one to 10, maybe seven. Ooh, seven? that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty seven. good. How long have you been studying? Like two years, I guess. Ooh, two, two years. years. Yeah. How about you? How would you rate yourself? Um, speaking is not great, but my listening and understanding is pretty good. So one out of ten, how? Like a six. six? <laughs> I'm not as confident as you, but I've also never taken a proper class. Mm. Um, so that's when I told you earlier that I wanted to enroll mm -hmm. in the university because I think it would help me a lot. Like I do yeah. practice like as much as I can, mm -hmm. but most of my friends and stuff. Even if I try to speak Korean, we end up in English because they'll uh, talk to me in English. Uh, oh. Yeah. And you have to meet like Korean who doesn't speak English. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But how do you rate your Korean? <laughs> My Korean? Wait, he's Korean, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> I would say 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because like, it's not perfect. It's not... I get mixed up sometimes. And I, I also, I can't like spell... I, like, what, what is that called? Oh, see, like this, this kind of stuff. Like, mm. uh, you get like a traffic jam. Yeah. Between uh, English yeah. And so, I'll say five out of ten. Uh, five out of ten. Okay, I think we can all agree that's a lie. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so, if you five, I'm three. <laughs> do you guys speak any other languages? You know, you know Indonesian. Yeah, Indonesian, English, and Korea. That's okay. it. Oh, three languages. And you? Korean and English. Mm. <laughs> that's it. Interesting. Is that the same for you too? Korean and English? Korean, you... English, Spanish. Spanish? Oh. I studied French for like seven years. So I can, I can read and understand, but I haven't spoken it in like 10 years, so don't <laughs> ask me. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. That's, but I'd like Spanish. to learn at least eight languages by the time I'm like 30. Oh. Yeah. Can you guys like introduce yourselves in like other di different languages? Mm. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, from Korea. 네, 안녕하세요. 미타입니다. 네, 반갑습니다. How about Indonesian? Ah, uh, hello, saya Prasmita. Senang bertemu dengan kamu. Oh, Ooh, that was beautiful. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, hola, me llamo Shannon. Uh, Estados Unidos. Uh, and then Korean, I guess. Uh, <laughs> 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 Shannon입니다. Uh, 저는 미국 사람이에요. Oh. oh. And, hey, what's up? I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's mm. good. Yeah. So anyway, um, the reason I asked you about how comfortable you were with Korean was because mm. we actually have a game prepared today. Okay. So since it is Hangul Day, we have prepared a game that is played using Korean. And all you have to do mm -hmm. is say the correct answer after looking at the Chosong. Okay. Chosong. You know Chosong? Chosong? So it's kind of like uh, the consonant. Mm -hmm. in Korean but the same way we use like OMG for mm -hmm. oh my god mm -hmm. yeah. it's gonna be similar so okay. it's like the acronym of whatever the Korean word or phrase mm -hmm. is do you think you can do it? yeah okay. let's see it <laughs> yeah, let's go let's go so I'm the only one who guess it? <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'm with you it's a competition okay <laughs> it's really big there's a lot going on right over here right now okay so the first one and you have 10 seconds on the clock ready go 10 <laughs> no, I don't know that. Eight. Can I see it? Okay. Can you guess? Sejong Dae Wang. Wow. Right? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. what is that? <laughs> 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 what is that? What's that? What does it mean? Can you explain? King of Korea. The king of Korea. The king, king of king Korea. Sejong. Ah, yeah, king Sejong. Ah, Sejong. Yeah. Ah. This is the, yeah. He's on, Sejong the, he's on the chonon, chonon. Ah, yeah. yeah, don't forget. The, you can look at the hint also. I don't know if the camera can see that, but there's the hint was yeah. manon. Manon, manon, manon. Yeah, oh. so you can kind of use that to your advantage. Okay. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I wanna know. You ready? <laughs> Number two. Dun, 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 ten. You don't know it? Alimion. Alimion? Alimion. Three. Orinion? Orinion. Orini? Oh, yeah, she got it. Orini? Wow, good job. You did it right there at the end. He helped me. Oh, there, that was all you. That was all Cute you. Cute little buzzer beater. <laughs> all right, we're one and one. All right, are you ready? And ten. ten, ten. No, it's hard. Eight, I don't know how to say it. It's cake in Korea. Six. Five. 
I'll take this one. Okay. Or, Taekwondo. Yes. Ah, he just do this. Ah, uh, Taekwondo. Wow, you gotta win. You gotta win. You gotta try. <laughs> All right, and the last one. The hint is coin. Coin. Do 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 do. Hey, stop it! <laughs> I want her to win. I don't want to win. Okay, just win. You can't oh, give her the answer. <laughs> He's cheating! I don't know, we can do it. Then I win. <laughs> what is it? Jogumtong. Ah, Jogumtong. Aha. I'm so sorry. I uh, really wanted so, you to it's win. So hard. <laughs> it's so can, hard. You can theoretically select where the prize goes. I will give it to our very lovely guest today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very diplomatic response. Well done. Dun, dun, dun. Was the game? How was the game? Was it fun? <laughs> she seems. Stressed. I feel like yeah. I don't know why you saw. I was like yeah. It was, it was the fun. only things I know like like kia kia like go go or go go oh. or mm -mm, like that. When oh. I yeah when I I did I'm not gonna lie I did see the game beforehand so that's why I didn't play. But um, when I first saw it like I it occurred to me that like I've never done that sort of matching in mm -hmm. my head as far as like with Korean letters because mm -hmm. I think in, in English I would recognize it obviously mm. but yeah so it was a fun little brain teaser mm. what was the very first Korean word you learned in Korea? 안녕하세요 안녕하세요? <laughs> 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 it was probably 안녕하세요 but some of the first like phrases that I learned were like asking for trash bags trash bag oh yeah, yeah. like uh, um, because when I first came here, I came during COVID, uh -huh. so I didn't have like any actual interactions with mm -hmm. people. It was just oh. like speaking to my landlord, which I didn't really get a whole lot of help with. So uh -huh. I, it was a lot of like learning on the fly. Mm. Uh -huh. And then also when I first came here, it was like reading my washing machine, mm -hmm. for example. Oh, <laughs> like, right. oh, yeah. I didn't know anything. Honestly, until now, I still need, like I said, Google Translate. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, how to do this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it was like that. And I remember like, there was like a funny mistake that I made actually. It was like with the washing machine. Mm -hmm. I had set it to the wrong setting and I think I put too much soap because the bubbles started coming out oh, of the washing wow. machine. And it was one of the front facing ones. So like I couldn't like stop it. It was really funny. Oh. It, well, it wasn't then, but it's funny now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had any like weird instances happen because of the language barrier? Um, oh yeah, when people was that say like, oh, 다음에 만나요, like that. So I was thinking, I didn't know that was say like goodbye. But I thought mm. like 다음에 만나요 means like, okay, uh, let's see you 다음, oh, 아니요, 다음에 밥 먹자요, like that. 다음에 밥, uh, oh, 다음에 밥, 밥 먹자. 먹자요, yeah, 밥 먹자. I was like, oh, okay, 그래서 다음 달에, oh, I'm sorry. I mean like in the next day, I asking mm. to that person, oh, when are we gonna meet today? You say like, oh, what's that? Let's have eat together. Mm. I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> so it was just it just like oh, it's just like oh goodbye, nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah, it's like, like a formality, that. not yeah. like yeah. a yeah. Actually, yeah, I understand it. Mm. That makes sense. How about you? Oh yeah. I'm sure I've had plenty. I still make mistakes all the time though. Um but I I think it's just like there would be certain words in Korean, like uh dari, for example, it's bridge, but it's also leg. Body, body. Yeah. So, right. for example, when I'm listening, it, I will make a decision of what that what what it is that they're mm -hmm. talking about in my head based mm -hmm. on the word. But sometimes it's the opposite thing, and mm -hmm. I won't catch it until a little bit later. Oh, so I think we're right. talking about like a leg, but we're talking about <laughs> a bridge, for example. So it's just like you. I really have to pay attention to the context a lot. Mm. Um, but Korean, I feel like, has quite a few of those where right, it's like yeah. the same word but many different meanings. Mm. Right. Like be is like stomach, but it's also pear. Like, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's just a couple of those where I've made mistakes and I've said something, but it wasn't quite what it what I meant or vice versa. Mm. Yeah. And what for about for you? Me, yeah. I mean, for me, I didn't have like those type of inner. I think it was more about formality. Like, you know, yeah. you have to put yo at the end mm -hmm. to people who are older than mm -hmm. you. But like when I text mm -hmm. someone, when I first came to Korea, when I used to text like the older people, mm -hmm. I, I sometimes forget to put yo at the end. Uh, so oh, like, yeah. 
happen. Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> Am I your friend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do you, if you don't mind me asking, how do you determine when you can stop doing that? You know what I mean? Like, because if you become close with somebody, oh, like, like, how do you know when that point is? Like, when you reach that point of comfort? Do I you think talk about it. <laughs> no, I think it's when the other, the older person, like, mm. says, "Oh, just like treat me like as your friend, like mm. comfortably." Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So you kind of just need to wait for them to. Yeah, I say get. It's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. But anyway, really interesting. Yeah. So um. There is one more thing that we have to do. I yes, think. we prepared one more game. <laughs> one more game. <laughs> have you ever seen a comment on the internet like this before? I guess that is like, that's what the game is called. What is it? Have you ever seen a comment on the internet like this before? Uh, this before? Uh-huh. This is a review that a Korean <laughs> traveler posted on the internet after visiting a hotel abroad. It was written like a code, so basically only Koreans can understand it when leaving reviews about poor services. Mm. Shall we read it together? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, so here we go. Can you see it? Is this, is this the right one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll read the, the English part, I guess, if you can read the Korean one. Okay. All right, so this room is near the Yoyogi station, and the surrounding area is very quiet. Additionally, it is easy to contact the host. Shall we, like, first let her try? Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Sorry, my eyes so bad. Okay, <laughs> I'll hold it. Can I read it? A little bit far. Oh, can I hold it? Uh, ah, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, you, you can. <laughs> so many cards today. Hangul ki tel ko poseyo. Ichi chinta tor toroyo. Mongjora mori kara chinta chinta badaso. Chong chong sobi. Chong sobi. Hwan pul bada del kosing. Da. Busen into de chak. Oh, yeah, mm. All right. That was good. That was good. I'll, I'll, I'll try reading. <laughs> 한국인들 꼭 봐주세요. 봐, 보세요. 이집 진짜 더러워요. 먼지랑 머리카락 진짜 진짜 많이 많아서 청소비 환불 받아낸 곳입니다. 무선 인터넷 작동 안 해요. 주의하세요. 다른 좋은 방 찾아보세요. 여기 진짜 비추천. 아, what is 비추천? Like, stay away from it. 아, 아, okay. Yeah, uh, she doesn't recommend it. Or well, um. he or she doesn't make him recommend it. 아, okay. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah, well done. Well done. well done, well done. She didn't realize this was going to be Korean pop. <laughs> He's so, <Yeah>. <laughs> He's so hard. <laughs> no, you did, you did well though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like your your it cadence. sounds like a gil, you know. <laughs> yeah, kind of, a kind of, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have. You thought we were done? <laughs> got one more. So we have a bonus quiz. Yeah. We will give you a gift. We will give a gift to whoever just decodes this sentence and gives the correct answer. So is this everyone trying? I guess. I think this is everyone trying. I will do my best, but I think <laughs> I'm not sure. Is this okay if I put this here? Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Can you see? No. <laughs> no. Oh, like can we hold it, it like here? I guess here. in the middle. All right. You can try first because it's angled okay. your way. 안녕하세요. Um, 혈액소 개수로 오륙분. And then I I can I cannot see it. You can see it. All right. 오늘 이 문장을 이른 신분은 분간. 숙박복서 일반원 일반원 꿈꾸는 아 so hard 듣기겠습니다 위 문자 해두기 완영 됐어만 쇼온 드겨 Okay, so hard. Poggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I guess I'll have to yeah, give the answer. We're running out of time, you guys. So I <laughs> have to go over the answer. But I think the key thing here is that it's like, it's misspelled on purpose. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's making it difficult. Uh, yeah. 안녕하세요. Okay. So, but A for effort. <laughs> I'll give the answer, which is 안녕하세요. Hike show. Wait, this is hard. Is the answer here? <laughs> okay, it's right here. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 하이크쇼 게스트 여러분. 오늘이 이 문장 읽으신 분께 스타벅스 
1만 원 쿠폰을 선물로 드리겠습니다. 아. 이 문장 해, 해독이 완성되시면 손을 들고 자신이, 자신의 이름을 외치면 정답을 말씀해 주세요. 아, yeah. How Korean write like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just, they just really use like their like 눈치? Like their, yeah. Uh, they just kind of infer, I guess. Yeah. Like if you make a bunch of typos. But anyway, I guess that we are running out of time, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and close things up here. Yeah. Um, so how was today's show? Did you have fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's <fun>. you. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I guess we will close things off here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. And we will see you guys next time. The High Show will air every Thursday at 2 p.m. with a new guest each time. So stay tuned. See you at 2 p.m. next week. And Monday, Coconut 2 p.m. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>